are following some breaking news. We understand there is a massive barn fire going on right now at the Mississippi Ag Museum. And you can see it from one of our sky cams. That's the smoke right there. Straight back to that breaking news we are following right now. Buildings on fire at the Ag Museum just off Lakeland Drive. We have Jackson Fire Chief R.D. Simpson on the phone with us right now. Chief Simpson, tell us what is going on. And we've been listening for about the last hour and a half as fire Fighters have been talking on the scanners with authorities and with dispatchers calling for backup. Take a listen. You can hear the desperation in their voice and the rush to keep this fire from spreading outside of those buildings, especially to the buildings that are right there off Lakeland Drive and off I-55. And of course, still trying to get information about these animals that were inside that barn, trying to make sure that they were not injured. We do know that was there was one at least at least one injury confirmed. We know AMR was out on the scene taking someone away, so we are trying to get information about that as well. But again, this fire at the Ag Museum, it sparked about four o'clock this afternoon. Three to four buildings affected. Fire Firefighters having a tough time trying to get it under control because of the weather conditions. Yeah, and talking about the animals, that's the question I think that we keep getting so much from people who have visited the Ag Museum. They know how many animals are there. Mm -hmm. We've seen the horses. We, yes. It seems that several of those were able to escape. Jennifer also mentioned seeing goats there on the property. Uh, we're going to go back out live to Jennifer, who's been there for the last hour or so. Jennifer. That's right, guys. A fire still going strong now. The agriculture secretary is out here. She's going to give us more details about how she's feeling about this whole thing. This is a big loss for the Ag Museum. Although no animals were hurt, we are told there was a fuel tank very close to that building, but that fuel tank did not touch the fire, so they, they were kind of nervous that that tank was going to make the fire a little bit bigger than it was. But so far, like I said, no one was hurt. No animals were hurt. Fire crews still out here trying to get it all together. Back to you guys. And we heard her say that the Ag Commissioner, Cindy Hyde-Smith, is out there right. curious to see what she has to say about this. This is obviously a tragedy for her department right now. Good news, of course, hearing that that fuel tank had been moved. That's something that we heard on the scanners uh, around 515 or so. Firefighters were really worried about those tanks and how close they were to these flames and if they were going to be able to move the tank or contain the flames before they reached that tank. And a question that someone has been asking, how many alarm fire is this? You can see several fire trucks on the scene. We're still working to try to get that information. We do know that some fire investigators are out there, fire firefighters, uh, some leaders are out there. Hopefully we can get that information from them just as soon as possible. And you keep hearing us talk about this one person injured. We don't have any more information about that. Uh, we heard on the scanners that it was probably a fireman, but we don't know that for sure, and we don't know the extent of the injuries. Uh, and that's what our crews are working to find out right now, and hopefully we can get some more insight from Fire Chief Greg Travis when he arrives. And of there. course, the big question, why did this fire spark? What yeah. caused this to spark? Um, haven't been able to get that information. Of course, it's probably going to take time. They'll have to put the fire out first, and then we'll start getting information. Witnesses may be able to give them some information so they can solve that mystery for us tonight. That's right. Jennifer uh, told me that she did talk to some employees who were there when the fire started, but none of them saw it until the flames had already overtaken that first barn. So, so many questions about what happened and even how long this fire was burning before anyone might have noticed. And one thing, if you were probably in the downtown Jackson area, you could see that smoke, that, that smoke for miles. We were able to see it on many of our sky cams. I don't know if we're able to pull one up, but you could see it through the um, Hilton sky cam right. all the way in Ridgeland. You could see that smoke. So that kind of gives you an idea of how large this fire is. Yeah. And, and affecting the traffic all along yes. I-55 tonight because of the traffic trying to get off right there on Lakeland Drive and all the way up and, of course, able to see that smoke for such a large area. Well, we are hoping to get some more information from the Jackson Fire Department soon. We're hoping to get a live interview so we can get some more information on the battle of this fire, anything about injuries in terms of a person being injured, if there were any other injuries, and those animals inside the barn, if any of them are injured tonight. Yeah, and we will keep checking in with Jennifer as she waits to get information from Greg Travis. Um, we are watching as firefighters try to, of course, contain this fire from spreading to any more to the three or four buildings that we know could be involved right now. Uh, and, of course, again, you're seeing video of those horses that just escaped one of the barns now engulfed in flames running around in the areas outside 
those buildings of the Ag Museum. And I think we're going to go back live now to Jennifer Ortega, who is on the scene to get some more information. Jennifer, what can you tell us? With Cindy Hyde-Smith from the Ag Museum. Cindy, what can you tell me about this fire right now? Well, we're not sure what started the fire. We have lost two main structures. We've lost the barnyard. The animals were gotten out safely. Everything is okay there. Our maintenance building, our shop, we've lost. I'm sure there's golf carts in there. A lot of our equipment is in there, but we've contained it. Or the fire department has contained it to these two buildings. And as you can see, we're currently fighting flames right now. This is still in progress, but I think our main building is going to be secure. And uh, none of the employees, they're okay. We have one that was slightly injured, but she's going to be fine. So that was the, uh, the important thing is, you know, the employees got out and they're safe and we got the animals out. So you said everyone was evacuated and that main structure building is okay. The main structure building we think is okay. Like I said, we're still fighting flames at this point, but I think the main structure will be okay. The one employee slightly injured, she will be fine and everyone else is okay. So, you know, as long as our folks are in good shape, you know, we can we can assess the damage, see what we're dealing with right now, and uh, we'll know a lot more in the morning, I hope. Okay, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you. And well, you heard her right there. No one, no animals were hurt, one person injured, but that's all we know right now. The fire, again, still burning strong. We'll keep you posted on this developing story. All right, Jennifer Ortega, thank you so much. We want to send it back now to our newsroom. Tammy Oswick is live in there. You've got some information from the Jackson Fire Department. That's right. We're on the phone right now with Chief Investigator Greg Travis. Greg, can you tell us what the scene looks like right now? Uh, right now, the firefighters do have the fire under control. Uh, it looks like it's confined to at least three buildings out here on this complex. And uh, they're still trying to put out some parts of the fire in one of the buildings at this time. It's uh, still going to be a ongoing process to extinguish this fire at this time, uh, but it is under control. Do we know if anyone has been hurt on the property as of right now? I don't have any initial report that anyone has been injured at this time. Okay. Can you tell us exactly where on the property this happened? Uh, it's near one of the chapel on the north side of the uh, property very poor north side of the property, um, uh, near uh, the uh, building 22. Near building 22, so that's going to be right. near that main building on the property. Right, on the north side of the property, north side of the property, closer to uh, uh, the, uh, the, one of the schools out here, the school uh, out here. Um. So what's the status right now of those buildings? Uh, it looks like these buildings are totally destroyed at this point. Uh, all three buildings are totally destroyed. Total loss of those buildings. Yes, ma'am. And what are firefighters doing on the scene right now? Uh, right now, they're still trying to uh, extinguish the smaller fires here. And uh, they're also trying to extinguish the uh, hot fires. And they're conducting some overhauling. Would you say you have this fire under control right now? That means uh, pretty much it's, it's downsized, the fire is downsized. Okay. Is there any fear that it might start up again? Uh, no, ma'am. The firefighters are still working the scene. Still working the scene. And about how many crews do you guys have out there right now? It's a second alarm fire, so you may have at least uh, 10 trucks out here, thereabouts. 10 trucks, okay. That's Chief Investiga Fire Investigator Greg Travers talking to us. Thank you so much, Greg. I'm going to get you to stay on the line with us, but I'm going to toss things back to the studio to Megan and Stephanie. Okay, Tammy, thank you. That was a lot of information yes, we just we got have. right there. I think we should recap that for you. Uh, first thing, we'll start with this. We hear that the animals did all make it out. They yes. were all evacuated, and they are all safe. Uh, and the fire is under control, although they are still fighting the flames there. Right, and they said that it, the fire is actually downsized. They are trying to extinguish right now some smaller fires. Now, as for injuries, we talked to the Ag Commissioner, Cindy Hyde-Smith. She said that one of her employees was slightly injured, but okay. So that's kind of the information we've got right now about injuries. We're hearing three buildings destroyed. The Ag Commissioner mentioned the barnyard, the maintenance shop, which she mentioned will have a lot of equipment in it. So she is concerned that a, a lot of equipment is lost in there because of that fire.
And we also learned that this fire was very near the main building of the Ag Museum, but it seems as though it has been protected now that this fire seems to be contained to those three buildings. They feel good that that building will make it out of the fire, possibly without any damage or just light damage. Uh, let's see, we also learned it is a second alarm fire, two yes. alarm fire, 10 trucks out there fighting the flames right now uh, and, and trying to put this out, a battle that it looks like is going to last for the next few hours. And the Ag Commissioner also mentioned that she doesn't expect to get any information about how this fire started until maybe in the morning because it is so massive. You've got a lot of stuff that's got to be, they have to sift through, of course, still get this fire out and then starting to gather some information from people and battling the wind as they try to put out those flames tonight, not making the job any easier for the 10 trucks and dozens of firemen on the scene right there tonight. Again, this fire at the Ag, at the Ag Museum started about four o'clock this afternoon. We're now hearing that three buildings are destroyed, including the barnyard, the maintenance shop. There's probably equipment that is lost from that maintenance shop. They will be adding up to see how much in damage they have from this fire. And reminding you about the traffic situation tonight, we've talked about uh, how backed up the traffic has been on I-55 and on Lakeland Drive. Officials are asking you to avoid this area if at all possible. If you are coming through this area, don't stop. Don't try to take pictures. They need people to keep moving tonight as they work to put out this fire. We will be right back. We want to go back out live to Jennifer Ortega on our breaking news. The Mississippi Ag Museum fire right off Lakeland Drive in Jackson. Let's go to Jennifer now with an update. Jennifer. A little bit different of a scene right now going on. Firefighters have been able to put out some of that blaze. You can see now the flames out on this side of the barn. The smoke still going strong and a little bit of flames left on one side. Now, uh, Fire Chief, Chief Travis, uh, Greg Travis just got here. Uh, he'll give us more information in the next couple of minutes, so maybe he'll give us a cause of fire. We're still unsure what caused it, but only one person was hurt, not critically. They're fine, and no animals were injured. Jennifer Ortega live for us tonight. Thank you so much. And do want to point out that it is a drastically different looking scene that we saw just a few minutes ago. It does seem that they have managed to contain some of those flames, put out some of that fire tonight. We want to recap everything we have learned in the last few minutes for you. So much going on right now. We can tell you this was a second alarm fire. Ten trucks out there trying to battle this fire at the Ag Museum. We understand three buildings destroyed, including the barnyard and the maintenance shop. So there's probably a loss of equipment because of that. We do know that the animals are okay. All of them got out. You did hear of an, an employee slightly injured in this fire, but is okay. Now these buildings, these barns that were on fire are on the north side of the property. It's behind the main building, that main building that you see off of Lakeland Drive. And speaking of Lakeland Drive, traffic is an issue out there tonight and could be an issue for the next hour and a half, even longer than that, as firefighters work to fully contain this fire and keep an eye on the hot spots there. They're asking you to avoid that area if at all possible. Take an alternate route if you're trying to go home or trying to get out this evening. More on the breaking news when we come back. Back with our breaking news, buildings on fire at the Mississippi Ag Museum tonight. And we're hearing three buildings destroyed. All animals are accounted for and are safe. One person injured slightly, but doing okay tonight. We want to get some new information. Let's go to Tammy Esbick live in our newsroom to tell us more about this fire. What are you finding out, Tammy? Yeah, when we talked to Chief Investigator Greg Travis, he said that the buildings on the property, we're looking at building 22 and in this area, which is, as you can see, right here by the main building on this property. So right now we do know that at least three of those buildings have sustained terrible, terrible damage right now. This is a picture of our crew as they were headed there, but the fire much worse as the fire started to spread from building to building. We'll toss things back to you guys in the studio. And one thing we should mention, that main building is okay. We're being told that there's no problems with the main building. It's three other buildings that have that fire damage tonight. And we can see from the live pictures that firefighters have made some progress. We could see from Jennifer's live shot just a few moments ago. But if you look now, we can see still flames tonight. And of course, still concerned about hot spots with this fire that they'll have to be watching for the next several hours. And we can't say it enough. Do avoid the area of Lakeland Drive in Jackson. Firefighters still on the scene trying to get this fire under control. They are trying to be able to do their jobs. So they do not need, as we like to call them, looky-loos, okay. hanging out, trying to take pictures, or just trying to see what's going on. So please, if you are trying to get home, go ahead and head home. We will give you a full report on the news on WAPT.com, also coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Yeah, one of the big questions, what started this fire? We may not know that until tomorrow, but we will work to get you more information tonight on 16 WAPT News at 10. And once again, a massive 
explosive fire at the Ag Museum. We will have a full report coming up for you tonight at 10 o'clock. Thanks for joining us at 6. See you tonight at 10. A raging inferno rips through the Mississippi Ag Museum as crews race to save animals trapped inside. That fire destroyed a barn and two other buildings. Tonight, we've learned the fire hurt at least one person. 16 WAPG's Jennifer Ortega begins our team coverage live from the Ag Museum. Jennifer, what do we know? A long night for fire crews. You can see them still wrapping things up. Now, here's what's left of the barn earlier. It was wrapped up in flames, but officials tell us everyone made it out okay. Fire rips through the barn that houses dozens of animals Thursday night. Our main building is going to be secure, and uh, none of the employees, they're okay. We have one that was slightly injured, but she's going to be fine. Ag Commissioner Cindy Hyde-Smith says the fire also torched a maintenance building in another nearby structure. The important thing is, you know, the employees got out and they're safe, and we got the animals out. So you said everyone was evacuated and that main structure building is okay. The main structure building we think is okay. Like I said, we're still fighting flames at this point. Fire investigator Greg Travis says wind was a problem for fire crews. Of course the wind was blowing, but the firefighters, I think they did a great job in, in containing the fire to just those remote areas where it was. Fire crews fought the flames for more than three hours. We can't go in there and conduct any type of investigation until the fire is completely out. Uh, we can just do uh, initial uh, parts of the investigation, photographs, things of that nature. But as far as action going in, the term is that called, it's going to take us a little time before we can determine that. The biggest question here for investigators is what started this blaze in the first place. And we still don't know what caused the fire, but fire crews tell me that they'll be out here all night making sure no hot spots spring up in the morning. Live in Jackson, Jennifer Ortega, 16. WAPT News. Okay, Jennifer, thank you so much. Jackson Zoo leaders are stepping up to help the Ag Museum. This after they watched the news and saw animals running away from the barn. They say the zoo can house and feed displaced animals. Plus, there's a big barn on the property with plenty of space. We want to be able to provide housing. We want to be able to provide any hay, grain, food for the animals that, that survived. And we also, we have a vet on staff that can help out, um, you know, with the injured animals. Right now, zoo leaders say they're trying to talk to ag leaders to find out their other needs. Well, that blaze torched the ag museum's barn and maintenance buildings. 16 WABT's Burke Case continues our team coverage. Buildings at the Mississippi Agriculture and Forestry Museum, which is located on Lakeland Drive in Jackson, burned to the ground this evening. Apparently, the fire started shortly before 5 o'clock and quickly consumed a huge barn, a veterinary clinic nearby, and also a maintenance building. The fire spread very rapidly in these old wooden structures. We've lost our maintenance building that's housed our golf carts that we use out here. All of our tools, all of our equipment, all of that's gone. So we took a, took a pretty good hit tonight. Only one person got minor injury out here, according to the commissioner. For Case 16 WAPT News at the Agriculture and Forestry Museum. We have learned tonight all activities, including the Harvest Fest going on at the Ag Museum, have been canceled for the next two days. Again, leaders have canceled all activities at the Ag Museum for the next two days. All evening, we listened in as firefighters battling this blaze talked to dispatchers on our scanner. Ag Museum, we have a second barn on fire with high winds. Request a ladder truck. We need you to warn on it now. He's on the freeway. We're going to have a mess. Put it off in the main middle building right now. We need to knock that fire down on this west side. We knocked the fire down on the west side, west end, and cut off from this metal building. The metal building is smoking down. That's David several times we heard firefighters talk about just how windy it was. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you. That's David several times we heard firefighters talk about just how windy it was out there tonight. What were they facing? Well, you know, we have this unseasonably cold air mass coming in. North winds at 15 all day long, and that's what they were at the time of the fire. And also on live storm show 16 Doppler radar, that blue glitch is the hot fire and the smoke being picked up by live storm show 16 Doppler radar. That, you know, we saw that a couple weeks ago when that rocket went up and blew up. We could see it on radar. That's how sensitive live Doppler radar is. Uh, but, you know, the real story was 
a strong cold north wind at 15. Once you get those flames going, that could create a little bit of a weather environment itself. Probably cause the winds to gust of 20 to 25 miles per hour. That combined with dry wood and a barn, boy, I'll tell you what, that just fanned the problem. And the fire was probably uh, burning a lot faster than it normally would had there been lighter winds. All right, more from David in just a few minutes. Again, firefighters are still on the scene after a fire broke out at the Mississippi Ag Museum. It started at 4 o'clock this afternoon. The fire destroyed a barn and two other buildings. We know of at least one person who was hurt. The Commissioner of Agriculture says that was an employee. Crews evacuated all of the animals inside the barn. They are believed to be okay. No answer yet tonight on what caused the fire. And leaders have canceled all activities and closed the Ag Museum for the next two days.